Oh, man, we got a conundrum on our hands. AT&T's latest 5G network upgrade may only work with 2022's best phones. The carrier has another big 5G improvement coming, but your current phone likely isn't compatible. Eli Blumenthal, David Loom, and this is from CNET.com. All right, guys. 5G plus AT&T's ultra-wideband equivalent, 5G ultra-capacity equivalent. All right, this is going to be their 3.7, 3.45 gigahertz combination, along with their millimeter wave build. All right, so this is the fast stuff. This is the 5G that's going to matter to people. Getting away from that low band nonsense, we're talking about real 5G here. All right, now there is a situation on our hands, though. Okay, so they've got two types of 3 gigahertz frequencies right now at at and They own licenses in the 3.7 range, which is the C-band auction, Spectrum Auction 107, from last year, and they have recently acquired 3.45 gigahertz frequencies from Spectrum Auction 110. They've got 80 to 100 megahertz of this stuff, and they've got 40 megahertz national of this stuff, so all of it's national. Great capacity potential. We're very excited about it. We know about the one-touch upgrade policy and initiative that they're doing. They're going to climb the towers once. They're going to upgrade with radio technologies, all the gear that does the entire set of frequencies in the 3 gigahertz. This should streamline their upgrades, allow them to scale faster, be more efficient, and the upgrades will be incredible. So instantly we're going to see huge speed upgrades. Now this is their 5G+, plus, but we have a problem. The 3.7 gigahertz, okay, so we're talking about N77 here, is going to be supported by a lot of devices that came out last year. So we're talking about the iPhone 12, so that actually almost two years ago, like a year and a half ago, whatever. All right, the iPhone 12 and 13s are supported. Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. I think the 5 should be getting an update soon. The Galaxy S series from the 21 lineup. The Flip 3, the Fold 3, the Galaxy A13 5G. And then I think there's some iPads in there and stuff from last year. But now we have bad news. This is from Chris Sambar, AT&T's Executive VP of Technology, telling CNET that the flagship phones released in 2022 and beyond will likely be able to use the 3.45 that they just got in the most recent auction. Here is his quote. We're not giving specific devices because, as you can imagine, some of them haven't launched yet. But I'll tell you, the major flagship devices in 2022, the big devices from the big OEMs, will have 3.45 gigahertz support starting this year and going forward. Notice how we left out all the phones from last year. That's a problem. So essentially what he's saying, and and this is how he backtracked. He said, we're not saying for the older devices, but at this point, that's not in the plan right now. Doesn't mean we can't go backwards, but at this point, no. Guys and gals, I am sorry to report this. This is horrible news. If you recently upgraded your phone as recently as last year, it may be half useful for C-band N77. Only because it's not going to be able to support the 3.45 gigahertz which is going live this year. This is incredibly stupid, horrible, and awful because they only have 40 gigahertz, or excuse me, 40 megahertz of spectrum from 3.7. It's going to combine with the 40 megahertz of the 3.45. You want to take advantage of the entire band. This is horrible news, and I'm sorry to report it, but I don't think they're going to be supporting it. Maybe on the iPhones, maybe, but it looks like it's going to be Galaxy S22s and newer. And I don't see any indication. Me and Zero Cool tried to do some research on this, see if we could find anything. It does appear that it's still going to stay all N77. I don't see any notice of anything like some type of situation with like N48 or them making like some other band, you know, N47 and 49. I have no idea. But man, this is very unfortunate. I don't see any indications of this going on. Um, You know, I I looked up at the FCC documents. All it says is like ban 2D. I don't even know what that means. But this is quite disappointing. Um, How mad are you guys about this? Are you disturbed by this? I mean, this is pretty upsetting. I know I'm bummed out. Your thoughts and opinions, welcome down below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. I'm going to withhold my final, you know, takeaway from this because we still need to know more. We'll see what comes in the future, and I'll definitely update later. Please do like and share this video, subscribe for more, turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Uh, Do check out some of the links in the description box for my Patreon page. Support us there, get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. Patreon 